Hi, this is Anand Chitur, and in this clip here, I'm going to talk about Project Manager and Portfolio Manager dashboards. The dashboards are identical for both roles. It's just the roll-up um, that is accounted for based on the number of projects um, that a Portfolio Manager is assigned versus the number of projects a Project Manager is assigned. So the roll-ups, the numbers may be different, but at the same time, everything else is the same. So whether you log in as a Project Manager or a Portfolio Manager, this is exactly the screen you're going to see. Now, the primary driver that actually drives the numbers on these screens you see here is the selected project. Now, here you see all my projects have been selected. So, all my project numbers are actually reflecting on this dashboard. However, if I just want to select a demo project, um, number 500 for example, and see what the numbers look like, and uh, that's actually going to drill down further and give you, you know, for different numbers. So, again, Let's click on a guest project, for example. So those numbers change, you see here. Uh, what this, the different areas in this are, the, the main area is, the, your, is, is your matrix area. So you talk about your project threat matrix, you talk about your project opportunity matrix, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the other three matrices also, the impact horizon matrix, um, the near, medium, and far, midterm, and far. View matrix does a very good job of uh, differentiating between threats and opportunities. So if uh, a risk is classified as a threat, then it will show up in, in one of these matrices, in these cells. If it is an opportunity, it will show up in this matrix, in one of these cells. And again, the impact horizons are, uh, horizon is defined at an admin level as well as, as a, at a project manager or a portfolio manager level. So depending on what the impact horizon is for a project, the risks will show up accordingly. So if, for example, it's a 30-day project and you've defined a risk impact horizon near as a 10-day value, then it's going to say all these risks you see in, on the, the risk impact horizon near area um, metrics, they're all risks that are going to occur in the next 10 days, for example. So that's how these are classified. And uh, we can, another video is going to be created pretty quickly here uh, and it will be uploaded, which will tell you more in more detail on what these numbers mean and what the cells mean and all that stuff. So again, everything on, you see on the dashboards are, are uh, drill downable, so you can go and drill, drill down on them. Uh, the cost of risks are nothing but it's going to tell you what are the cost of risk estimated throughout. And these are all rolled up values. So if you have 100 risks in your system, they are the cost of threats of all of them which have been estimated. The percentage tells you how much has been estimated and uh, the cost tells you the number from a dollar standpoint. Uh, same thing for the opportunities. Um, from an expected monetary value analysis, what we normally do is each risk has a cost of impact. It has a probability value. So the probability is multiplied by the cost of impact of that risk to come up with an expected monetary value of that risk. And what you see here is each risk has been um, you know, estimated that way. And then there is a, a summation of all those risks that show up in the dashboard e EMV um, section. Threats are obviously negative and uh, opportunities are positive. So the net is, an, is a summation of the threats and the opportunities. So that gives you a net value. The My Risk section tells you what risks are assigned to me as a user when I log in. So I can, from the dashboard itself, click on those risks, clicking Edit, go to that risk and manage it from here without having to do a search. The risk log tells you in the system what's been happening. Um, if anybody's added a risk, it'll tell you what's happening and, and, and that. It's more for uh, just for looking at it and controlling it, uh, monitoring it. it. There's not much functionality to do with you know, clicking here and going to those particular items from here directly at this point. But it'll tell you what's happening in the system. A risk assignment is more of an exception report uh, kind of a deal where as a project manager, I want to know which pro risks are not assigned at all because I don't want them to drop. Um, I don't want to drop the ball either. So again, what I would like to do is see which risks are not assigned and then hopefully go and at some point assign those to accountable um, people so that way we can account for them and, and we can follow through and track them. Uh, when a risk is created in the system, an automatic assignment is obviously to the project manager and that can be changed at any time. So it also lets us know which risks are assigned to the project manager himself. And again, if that doesn't seem right, then obviously you can go in and change that. And that's that's the whole point of 
you know, showing it to you in the dashboard and so forth. So this is your project manager dashboard. Again, I'm going to click on any one and show you how it can drill down. So let me click on on this number five. This tells you that there are five risks that have a probability of 21 to 40 percent and that falls under the impact category of negligible. So negligible risk between 21 and 40 percent we have five risks like that. So let's click on that and see how it drill down, drills down and and, uh, and shows us the next screen. So these are the five risks. Again there is further drill down as well but since this video is um, catering to the dashboard itself we'll go back there and and leave you with that screen.